Indiana University has hired their 25th head baseball coach, and it is Jeff Mercer who joins us now. And coach, just first, a welcome to Bloomington, and congratulations for taking this position to lead this IU baseball program for you and your family. I know very excited to come here in Bloomington. Yeah, thrilled to be a part of it. Growing up around here, my dad having coached here, I've always wanted to be a part of Indiana University. You know, very fortunate to have the opportunity to lead the program now, and excited to get started and get to work. To me, to, to be the head baseball coach at Indiana is such an incredible honor because I grew up in this community and I, and I grew up supporting this university and the people that, that helped her raise me um, always loved this university as well. And so to be able to, to, to work with our staff and to, and to lead this program in the direction that we're going uh, really is an opportunity for me to give back to the people in the community uh, that, that gave so much to me and to, to represent them all but to, to provide uh, you know, them with the program that they deserve is, a, is an incredible opportunity and an incredible honor to, to be here. You know, these coaches are really good. They're good off the field and on the field. They make sure that we get after it in the right ways, that we don't do any work that doesn't benefit us. And uh, they apply some things to us that we weren't used to and we got after it with it and we got a lot better from it. They really study the game and it makes us a lot better every day. Coach Mercer and you know the rest of the staff are obviously a, a really knowledgeable group on the game of baseball. They really you know understand the game, which has been awesome. Uh, baseball guys just passionate about the game. And I think the one thing that I really appreciate too about the guys is you know they, they treat you like they treat you like, like men. So I know there's a there's a self accountability aspect of it that they allow the players to have that that's really good and I think allows the group to mature over time. Mercer's really taught me a lot just about the game of baseball in general. Um, just kind of how the right way to play it and you know diving into the process so much instead of focusing on the, the result and you know if you focus on that process then it'll take you to the right result because you can't really control win or loss you can control the effort you put into that. Yeah, Jeff is one of the best I mean we've been best friends for about the last 15 years we played together in college um, and, and honestly kind of had a chance to talk about some of this stuff that, that uh, we're getting a chance to do now for a long time. You know, such a uh, great opportunity to be back with him. We got a chance for three years together at Wright State to kind of work on some of these things from a building perspective, building a program, uh, working together on a daily basis. And, and then obviously with our relationship and, and how close we are as, as friends first. Um, you know, he's just a guy that I really believe in as a coach, as a leader, as a teacher, and I was so excited to get a chance again to work with him. I, I got the opportunity to play for Merce um, as a senior in college, and then was fortunate enough to get into coaching shortly after my career was done. Um, was able to coach with him and, and kind of, you know, let him, you know, guide me as a mentor in my first couple years of coaching. And, and then once he left, uh, I actually took over his role as a volunteer at Western Kentucky, um, and, and we kind of went our separate ways from there. And stayed in communication, uh, continued to build our friendship, and you know the fact that he had enough trust in me to to call me when when he got his dream job here at IU uh, was was meaningful to me just because you know I know that when when he got this job he was going to call the people that he trusted, um, and knowing that I was one of those guys, you know, it meant a lot. Uh, I've known uh, Jeff for, for some time now. I got the opportunity to hire him uh, 10, 11 years ago uh, when I was with the Indiana Bulls organization. Um, known Jeff, uh, like I said, a long time and uh, known the family. Uh, he's, he's from a tremendous family. Mom and dad uh, and brothers are just tremendous and uh, they've, uh, they've taught me a lot on uh, how to be uh, a great person as well as a coach. Sugarts 1-2 to Lloyd. Swing and a miss. Texas wins. What a battle from Indiana. Yep. Look around, boys. Who's on three? One, two, three. Who's on three? Yeah, obviously, you know, baseball is a crazy game, so you're going to go through ups and downs. I think we we hit the you know the severe ups and downs both last year but obviously fin finish strong but uh, I think the big thing for us going to this offseason we were super motivated you know we don't we don't want a regional final to be you know the end the end all for for what we want to accomplish as a team 
I think it, if anything that just fueled all of us and we know we can go further and we can become better from learning from those past experiences and we're just excited to get going this year. It just kind of brings the fire back this year. We get a lot of returners and now you know the feeling of losing in the championship of a regional and you don't want to feel that again. You know, the sky's the limit, obviously. Um, you can tell us we can, you know, go to Omaha or whatever, but we're kind of focused on just the first weekend at this point. Um, you know, if we're able to put everything together, I think we're going to have a chance to go, go pretty deep in the tournament. I mean, this is, why, this is why you come here. You're here to play baseball. It's a game we all love. It's a game we're passionate about. And um, it should be a great time. It's a great group of guys. And uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully expecting big things this year. We're really just focused in the moment. Um, you know, we play Memphis next Friday, which we're extremely excited about to get going. And that's just step one. So put all our focus into that. Take it a day at a time, and then we'll, we'll go from there. I mean, yeah, I'm ready to roll. I mean, it's it's my last year here. It's a lot of guys' last years, and everyone wants to just keep leading this program the right way through the top of the Big Ten every single year. And, uh, I mean, it's going to be a big year for us. We're all just really excited for it.